All right, so if you have finished your embroidery design and you see that there is a flaw like this one, I call these wispies, some people call them fish eyes. I don't know what their technical name is, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So, you'll get you a self-threading needle, or you could use a regular needle, but you'll also need thread. But you're going to place your needle into your design and take that little piece of thread that is not tucked in like it should be. This is a little hard to do on camera, but you're going to place it in your self-threading needle like so. And then you're gonna bring it down and pull it through your fabric. Now I would get some kind of iron-on adhesive or something to keep that down or maybe just a, just a tap of super glue on the back to hold that little wispy down. But that's what I would do if you have that flaw in your embroidery design. All right. I hope you have enjoyed these tutorial videos on how to use the Allen County Public Library's embroidery machine. I know it was a lot of information. So as always, if you get stuck, you don't know what you're doing, you're just kind of unsure, come get one of us staff members. We'll be super glad to help you. That is our job. It's not an inconvenience to us. The library pays us to help you. So let us help you if you need it. So a couple troubleshooting things to cover real quick. If the machine pauses and it tells you to check the bobbin, please come get a staff member. As the bobbin is under the embroidery unit and it's under the moving parts and stuff, even though the machine will be paused, it is better that a staff member works on the bobbin carriage. So come get us if that happens. If your thread breaks and you're just kind of unsure about if you've got it set right or you don't know how far back in the stitching you need to go, come get a staff member and we'll take a look at it, okay? And one more thing, like I showed you in my example of troubleshooting the little fish eyes, if that happens to you and you want to pause the machine, you kind of want to make sure it doesn't happen again, just check how the thread is threaded. And there's a good chance that it may have popped out of one of the little guides that holds it down. Something small like that can cause a world of difference in your embroidery. So if you need help, let us know. We are here to help you.